Hey everyone, welcome to my talk on open access transport models from collaborative code to citizen science. My name is Robin Lovelace, I'm an associate professor of transport data science here in Leeds based at the Leeds Institute for Transport Studies or ITS as it's commonly known. This is my first presentation at TRB so I'm really excited to be here or rather be here at the virtual event and I'm very glad uh, to see how people have adapted um, in the coronavirus pandemic so that we can still collaborate uh, remotely. So, yeah, in terms of uh, the motivations for the talk, the current transport system is obviously suboptimal from many perspectives, but particularly when you put it in the historical perspective of where do we come from? We come from um, 1950s uh, transport planning is the basis and the history, the historical context in which transport planning takes place as documented um, in a seminal book on the uh, forecasting urban travel. And the point, one of the points made in that book is that transport planning really evolved or modern transport planning really evolved around the need to accommodate this explosive growth in car ownership and use that we saw in 1950s, 1960s, 1970s uh, USA that has led to the current uh, situation that we see with car dominated cities uh, worldwide and obviously 21st century priorities are very different. Uh, we know from climate science that there's a climate emergency and we also know that uh, physical activity is necessary to tackle the obesity pandemic. So it should come as no surprise given that the models, that the architecture on which many transport models are built were developed to tackle a different problem than the one that we are tackling today um, that new modelling approaches are needed. So uh, there's one other aspect to this which is this idea of citizen science or participatory democracy which suggests that um, there's also a crisis within democracy where people feel disempowered and phenomena such as the uh, Brexit vote and the election of Donald Trump some people have said that that is due to people feeling uh, disempowered by the political processes. So how do we tackle all of these problems? Well, the good thing to say is that the solutions already exist. We have amazing technology in 2021. So this is uh, one example of the technology available. This is AB Street, a fully open source uh, transport planning gamified application that can work in browser so it's using web assembly you can edit the road network and you can um, simulate uh, traffic movement across city scale transport systems so that's just one example but that you that um, AB street tool is open source but in this paper that is the inspiration behind this talk we go further so this is published in transport policy uh, recently um, and it's about going beyond open source transport models to open access transport models uh, what do we mean by that we mean while open source tools are necessary to be transparent so you can see the source code and enable people worldwide to use them open access tools go one step further by enabling members of the public who aren't necessarily experts in transport to in some way use the tool and AB Street's a great example of this because it's gamified you can have a play around you may not know all of the um, advanced settings but you can at least engage somehow in the transport modeling and transport planning process. So in this paper, myself, John Parkin and Tom Cohen, who are both experienced uh, transport planners, we set out this 
argument that in fact transport models are a leverage point within the within the planning system and it in order to shift uh, transport planning to more a more sustainable uh, paradigm we need uh, or open access models are a key part of that they can really help by breaking down these barriers so for example the fact that only a very small number of people within transport planning organizations can even access let alone use transport models open access tools um, provide a way forward and in the paper we talk about the concept in detail and we provide numerous examples with reference to the literature from um, other disciplines so this is something we're not talking about a hypothetical um, future this is actually happening right now so you've got tools such as AB Street which I demonstrated you've also got Matsim and Sumo and Python packages and R packages emerging that can solve these uh, transport planning problems of the 21st century whilst also enabling reproducibility and scientific rigor so check out the paper um, I've got a very brief uh, demo of uh, one such tool which is the propensity to cycle tool um, which you can find online at pct.bike so I'm not going to spend any time showing how it works there's a paper on that and you can have a play in your own time uh, with that tool so to wrap up because uh, this is uh, on uh, a short talk I recommend rather than just reading about the theory of open access models I really recommend just getting involved sometimes the best way to understand something is to start using it so sign up to platforms such as github where you can actually look at the source code you can see all of these conversations going on and you can get involved um, there are other ways to support a, the open source community so uh, given that on some levels they are more ethical and more scientifically uh, reproducible because you can see the source code uh, you can preferentially use sites and endorse open, so open access um, solutions and if you are a public sector um, person with, with influence over budgets I think that these open source solutions they don't just happen they require uh, long-term investment so that's one of the key points of the paper that although these um, solutions are being built by the community if you want to get them into uh, production they need to be supported by public sector um, and finally communication is vital so um, the other way to get involved is by using the software itself so obviously there's a whole range of uh, solutions out there one that I've found particularly useful for my research as the lead developer of the propensity to cycle tool is R and R studio which you can download and use and you can also just have a play with open access transport models in the browser so check out AB Street and the PCT there's some references and thanks a lot for listening you can find the slides on my website at robinlovelace.net so look forward to any questions you may have in the session on Twitter or maybe even on GitHub. Thank you.